Hi, I'm Bill from CJ Pony Parts. It's hard to believe that a seal this small can actually cause big problems in your late model Mustang. Ford uses a similar seal to this on all 1981 through 2004 Mustangs where your fuel filler pipe goes into your fuel tank. If this seal is damaged or dry rotted, fuel is going to pour out the side of your tank, which not only costs you money, it's actually a safety concern as well. So today we're going to show you how to replace this seal using our 2001 Mustang Bullet. The filler pipe seal gets installed on the side of your gas tank and the filler pipe is installed through it to create a tight seal so fuel can't escape. For this installation, you'll need a jack and jack stands or a lift and pull jack, a 3 8 ratchet or 3 8 impact gun, 8 millimeter socket, 13 millimeter socket, 6 inch extension, and safety glasses. You'll need to get your Mustang up in the air so you can access the fuel tank because it does have to be removed to install a new filler pipe seal. It's also a good idea to make sure you have as little fuel as possible in the tank. It'll make it a lot easier if it's not spilling, and on the same token, gas is around 6 pounds per gallon. If you have a full tank, it's going to be a lot heavier to pull your tank out of the car. Here you can see a typical original seal. Ours is actually torn all the way around the top edge. You can see the fuel's wet all around the bottom here as well, so it's obviously been leaking. Our first step is to remove the bolt for the retainer for the filler pipe. Now we're going to support the tank while we remove the bolts that hold the straps to the body. Your tank is held in place by two straps. On this car, we're going to have a bolt in the back here and a second one in the front on the passenger side strap. The driver side strap has a hinge in the back, so it's a single bolt up front and then it'll just swing down. Before we pull the tank down, we want to disconnect the fuel pump harness. And we can start lowering our tank down. Now we have it down a little bit, we'll slide the fuel line off the metal tab. Now same thing on the driver's side. So okay, now our fuel line is clear, we can continue lowering our tank. Now we need to shimmy the fuel tank off the fuel filler hose itself. If you're working on the ground, it's not that big of a deal since you're close to the ground. If you're up in the air, it's a good idea to get somebody to help you to hold the tank as you pull it off. We're going to carefully remove what's left of our original seal. See, ours is broken in half, which is why we're getting our fuel leak. I'm just going to clean up the area around the hole where the new seal is going to go. And we're going to spray some non-silicone lubricant on the new seal to make it go in place a little bit easier. Carefully working on the place, making sure not to press too hard, you don't want to damage the seal. Make sure the opening is nice and round when it's installed so you know it's fitting flush like it's supposed to on both the inside and the outside. Ready to put the tank back up into the car. Now we get the tank back up, we'll start by lowering down the driver's side. Got it. Now we'll reinstall the clips to hold the fuel lines to the tank.
I'll reinstall the bolts for the straps. We can reconnect the harness. And then the last step is the retainer for the filler pipe. And our installation is finished. For less than half of what you would spend for a tank of gas, you can fix that annoying fuel tank leak by fixing your fuel pipe seal. Installation should only take you around an hour. You'll be back on the road in no time.